Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to fix Q-Link wireless no service for Android and iPhone. Why does Q-Link wireless no service error occur? Network congestion and tower modifications. The transaction of the spin to T-Mobile and the build out of 5G cell towers can cause a network congestion and temporary outage, affecting the Q-Link wireless service. Data cap limitations. Q-Link Wireless has a 30 GB data cap which can cause service disruption if exceeded. Users may not be warned before their data is cut off, leading to frustration. Physical SIM card issue Problems with the physical SIM card such as incorrect installation or damage can also cause no service error. Settings and configurations Correct setting or configuration on the device can prevent the data from working. Fix 1. Check the coverage Go to the Q-Link coverage page, enter the location name in the search bar and check the coverage. If you do not see the green indicator, try after some time. Fix 2. Restart your device. For iOS, press and hold both the side and the volume down button simultaneously. Release both button when the Apple logo appears. For other Android device, press and hold the power or side button for a few seconds until the restart option appears. Tap restart to reboot the device. Fix 3. Reset network settings. This will erase all current network conjunctions and restore them to default. To restart the network settings on both iOS and Android device, follow this step. For iPhone, go to Settings then General, tap on the Reset iPhone and select Reset. Tap on the Reset network settings and enter your iPhone passcode to confirm the reset. For Android, go to Settings then General Management, click on Reset and then tap on Reset network settings. Confirm the reset by tapping on the reset button. Again, toggle the aeroplane mode on and off to see if it resolves the connectivity issues. Restart your device to clear any minor glitches. Forget and reconnect the Wi-Fi network if it is not working. Fix 4. Remove and reinstall the SIM card. Removing the SIM card, turn off your phone and find the SIM card slot on the top or the side of the phone. Push the SIM card eject tool into the small hole next to the tray slot. The tray will pop out slightly and pull it out completely. Take out the old SIM card from inside the tray. Inserting the new SIM card. Place the new SIM card into the tray. Gently push the tray back into the slot until it click into the place. Turn your phone back on. Your phone should now detect the new SIM card. Fix 5. Manually select Q-Link network. For iOS, go to settings then select cellular and tap on the network section. Choose the option to manually select a network. A list of available networks will appear and select the Q-Link network. For Android, open the settings, go to the network and internet and select mobile networks. Click on available networks and switch to manual network selection mode. Select the Q-Link from the list. Some Android devices may have separate options to manually select the Q-Link network versus just ANT and T. Fix 6. Faulty SIM card. There might be an issue with the SIM card. Connect the Q-Link for the replacement. Thank you for watching, like this video and subscribe to our channel.